What is going down with photographers? My name is Jeremy Bailey and today we're talking about positioning your lens as a photographer to create better perspective, better photos, and a more mastered feeling as you are a photographer. So let's get started today's video. So as a photographer, you're going to be having an assortive amount of lenses in your camera bay. Whether that be a prime lens, a zoom, a telephoto, you're gonna have some tools as a photographer. Now, when you put that lens onto your camera, there's a few things you can do. You can stand in one place while you're taking photos and just zoom in, zoom out, or if it's a prime lens, meaning it's just one focal length, meaning you can't zoom in and out, um, you can just stand there. Now, there's some different things you can do with your lens positioning when you're taking photos. So that's what we're talking about today, and I'm gonna show you throughout the photo shoots I just did the last week of how I did this and how I utilized different lenses to their advantage. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to learn your lens inside now, which is one of the most critical things I talk about as a wedding photographer, as a landscape photographer, is buying just a few lenses and mastering those lenses inside now. Now when it comes to lens positioning to a subject, I'm gonna be talking about portraits to begin with. So right now we have a 50 millimeter lens on this camera. Now when I put it on, I cannot zoom with this lens. So the only thing I can do, which is a great way to practice lens positioning, is either take a photo from my eyes perspective, and then if this photo doesn't look good, even just slowly moving down, seeing how it is from the ground perspective, uh, going to the right and left, uh, getting closer to my subjects when I zoom on them, the background's uh, more blurry, or even backing up, moving around is the key to this game. The more you move around, the more you can see the difference of perspective the lens is going to have to the scene. Now, if you have a zoom lens, there's going to be way more opportunities to change up the perspective because all you have to do is if you're standing in one place is zoom in, and now you have uh, a different focal length to play around with. So now you can play around moving around if you're most zoomed in, or you can quickly zoom out and move around and see that. So that is the first tip is get moving around. Uh, with your lenses, seeing what it's like to get as close as you can to the subject, as far as where you can to the subject, with different focal lengths, how 50 millimeter plays into the scene, how shooting at 70 uh, millimeters plays into the scene. Just learn it. Go out there, play with each focal length. Um, the best way to learn lens positioning is through prime lenses because it takes out the variable of you being able to zoom in and zoom out, and you're focused to just learn the 50 millimeter focal length because. Uh, you're just going to have to walk around to learn the lens positioning instead of uh, quickly change it. It just allows you to master it. So here's some tips when it comes to uh, being able to change your positioning and getting unique compositions in your photos. And that is to think about your background. Now the background is so important when it comes to uh, your lens positioning. Even just subtly moving a little bit to the right will make the trees or the lines or the leading foreground like the telling the story can change so significantly depending on your lens positioning, leading left and right. And you will see this on my GoPro now of how I took one photo and uh, the, the mountains uh, looked good, but if I just went a couple steps to the right, uh, I had the mountains perfectly uh, centered to the photo and it just gives it a whole new meaning uh, with the contrast of the background. Now that is one example of lens positioning. Another example is getting up and close and shooting just right from my eyes perspective, and now you can see that uh, because they're closer to my lens, the background's going to look more blurry. Now that's going to be another video I talked about, but that is also uh, another way to change up your depth of field. Uh, now another way is if you just kneel down and you shoot upwards, well now whatever is more up in the sky is going to be the background, whether it's the sky or high branches and trees, um, that's a great way to do it. Another example is to hold your camera up really high and shoot down. Now that's a really cool perspective as well, especially if you're sitting down and you want to get a cool shot of them. Like. So as you guys have learned, lens positioning is huge. It's more important in my opinion than uh, the lens that's on your camera. Um, just get one prime lens and master inside and out. Which you, once you feel like you know that lens inside and out, go to your next one, master that lens inside and out. Now when you're out taking photos, always try to find leading lines and meaningful stories to bring into your subject, your landscapes, uh, try to see if there's rocks in the foreground and just experiment like I was talking before and this week's photo challenge is lens positioning So uh, I want you guys to go out and take photos and stand in one place and see how many different photos you can get from holding your camera high 
uh, as low as you can to the ground, kind of moving left and right, and then pose three to four photos as if you're in one position. Find the best position to start with so you can get the most versatile photos. And then post it into the Facebook group so we can critique it, uh, help you learn, and you can help us learn other people's photos. And that is the photo challenge this week. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, rad time. See you in the next one, team. Squad up.